What is up everyone, this is Double O Face coming at you with another Gotham City's Imposters and if you don't want to buy this game after seeing that little bit of a, that uh, intro cutscene thing they have there, I don't know how they could sell this game to you. It's so hilarious and it's only $14.99. I didn't really talk about this game a whole lot in my last commentary so I'm going to get into it a little bit with you guys and you know, let me check out my secret identity um, which is basically custom classes and everything. I am only like level 14? almost 15 might be 15 something like that I'm not a very high level so I just got started and I am a noob like you guys but I can kind of show you the kind of stuff that we have here so you have the custom classes like usual and this is my awesome custom class um, so your ready weapon is the first one you have and right now I'm using a submachine gun which the gatekeeper kind of seems like the submachine gun people like to use and uh, the persuader as my shotgun which is my secondary which is awesome but basically you see you just kind of have all these these normal things, yeah, have snipers and all the different guns, pretty cool stuff. Um, and you have to use unlock things. So if you kind of didn't like um, in Black Ops, not so much the points, but you had to unlock. You had to wait till you can you can unlock something. It's kind of like that. So meh. Eventually you'll get everything. So yeah. And then you also have assistance, which is a motivator, which. Yeah, it's kind of like the healing thing. This is kind of a weird mix between Black Ops, not Black Ops, just Call of Duty and maybe Team Fortress 2. Uh, pretty awesome, but basically, so you have your guns, cool. Um, with the mod, I'm using Silencer. Don't know if it's really any good or gooder. Oh my god, did I just say that? Any better than anything else? But um, there's some other stuff like um, Penetrator ammo, and it ignores body armor, which a lot of people have been using lately. So I might want to try using that. And then body odor, which. It's actually this cool kind of thing where you can like kind of see scent. It's hard to describe unless you actually see it in game. It kind of tells you where people are. So there's a lot of really interesting things that help a lot in the game and uh, it makes it very creative. And as you can see I have four unlocks so I can unlock a bunch of the stuff. But I'm just kind of waiting to see how everything goes before I, uh, before I do anything else. Then of course you have paint jobs. I think I'm going to throw on Ivy right now just 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 cause. <laughs> so and then you have your backup weapon which um with the weapons you can choose any of the other ones so there's no limit to you know if you want to have two heavy weapons I think you could do this uh, basically seems like everyone's been using the shredder and uh, the jackhammer I haven't really seen the deep freeze at all maybe I'll try that out sometime but yeah then next up we have your support item and I'm a huge fan of the hatchet if you guys have not seen on my other video that I posted uh, which is an actual gameplay of this game so if you haven't seen that go and check it out it's 17 to 3 and I get a few kills with this. It's definitely a really, really fun thing to use because you know how I like throwing knives and everything. But it's also pipe bombs, impact grenades, boomerangs, shuriken, bear traps, trap in a box, body armor, and energy drink. So there's a wide variety of things. And it seems like DLC, the DLC, which I heard is going to be free for this, um, is going to have a lot more interesting stuff. It's actually going to add weapons and gadgets and stuff. Um, oh, so that's the support item. Now we move on to gadgets, which is uh, the grappler gun, which is one of my favorites. The glider rig is also really cool. If you're a heavy body type, you do more damage when you do your dive bomb attacks. So I think I might put that on my heavy one. And you have roller skates, spring boots, inflatable soul insoles, targeting goggles, ninja smoke bombs. I'm not going to go through all of these because there's just so much here. There's just so much here. But so I like to use the grappler gun. I mean, yeah, you, you it, go into my other video, you see kind of how I use it and how it's, it can be very helpful. Then you have your character. So, 
my face type, I unlocked Wild Eye, because, you know, he looks like a boss. It's go time. Uh, time to go. I do a deadpan, uh, uh, deep pitch voice, so you can change that stuff, it's kind of funny. Um, but body types, these are the things you really gotta look at. You start with tough, just kind of even all around. Yeah, pretty standard. Not a bad one to use. Uh, then you got Burly, and you got Mighty. Basically, these things, here's the middle. Basically, as you go up, your speed goes up and your health immediately go down. And with the as you go down to Burly and Heavy, uh, or Mighty, your uh, speed goes down, but your health and your melee go up. So, yeah. It's kind of like a Heavy. He kind of looks like the Heavy in Team Fortress 2 a little bit. So, you know, kind of that. But I really like the Speedy. Uh, moving around super fast and on top of being speedy I use uh, horse healthy Ho Horse healthy. Yeah, hey, your max health is higher than average and you're also you also heal faster by care stations and strength care practice teammate motivators that kind of thing So that's really cool because I like to get in and out on um, my other videos See how I go in and out in and out and then if I hit us if I'm running away I can I like to take a path that goes t through a care station um, and heals me quicker, so I actually get more health back from just running by it quickly, which could save my life in the end. The regenerative is not too bad, because uh, you regenerate, but all these other ones, weapons come back after, after sprinting, these are basically like perks. And this one is a uh, second chance. <laughs> no no joke, they put this in here just to, just to troll Call of Duty, I guess, I don't know. But next we have fun fact number two. Uh, and I use kind of bullet kind of kind of bulletproof enemy bullets don't do as much damage as they should and when you have a low health character this is really nice especially how speedy I am a lot of times they're gonna be missing anyway but some of the heavy weapons do take me down really quickly so gotta watch out for that but there are all sorts of things that are, are funny named and um, yeah they uh, they are pretty awesome <laughs> Yeah, so um, if you get a chance to get this game, you know, go through each one of them, look at it. I'm just kind of showing you the the quick overview of how you set up character. And then you have Rampage, which uh, I have it on Eagle Eye because I don't know which one I want to use. I think I'm going to be throwing up um, Tough as Nails, which reduces all damages for 75% for 15 seconds, and I earn it by dealing out 1,200 points of damage without dying. And then there's also kind of Death Streaks, where you inflict double damage for 15 seconds, and you earn that be by being killed five times without getting a single kill. So they kind of, you know, they have that death streak in there. But who really wants to use one of those unless you know you're going to die a lot, which I don't expect to die a lot, so I like to, you know, dish out a lot of damage, so I use one that takes damage. Next we have Psych Profile. Now this isn't unlocked to level 30, so I cannot get into it, so I don't know very much about what exactly uh, a Psych Profile is, so I can't really give you any information on that. But I definitely will uh, come back to it, um you know when I get to that but I just want to give a quick overview of like all the stuff to show you that there's a lot of stuff you can do a lot of customization a lot of just really really fun stuff you could do now on top of all of that now you can edit your bat costume now I the only thing I've done so far is the head or head logo cow cow the cow that's the only thing I've done so far but I do have 342 coins, costume coins, and I can use that towards uh, different hats, uh, different capes, depending on what I want to have. I think that one's pretty cool. Uh, then also feet, you know, if you want to have some, some bunny slippers or something. Uh, hands, torso. <laughs> um, so, I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do, and then not, nothing's like too expensive. Like this one is 400 costume coins, so it's actually kind of expensive, but the weird thing about this is um, something that they do that make money is that when say you want to buy this you go to oops oh you can go through oh I don't know you can go through each body type to see what it looks like uh, but when you go to quick buy <sighs> gonna be retrieving your data do, 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 do. loading screens <sighs> the bane of my video existence I could have just cut this out, but I'm talking, so I don't know if I should cut this out, because I just cut off me talking, but, um, I'm actually just going to cancel that, because it's a pain in the uh, butt to do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you can also purchase things um, through the PSN by using actual dollar amounts, um, and actually pay dollars for it, which, um, I mean, if you want to do, you can do it, you know, no one's calling you. And you also have your Joker costume, which I have not done anything to, but, you know, 
Let's say um, I'm rocking the Joker team. You know, what do I what do I want my guy to look like? Let's see. Being funny for feet. Yeah, bunny slippers, kind of same things. Let's see, hands. Kind of the same stuff as that. Flare, ooh. Hmm. <laughs> be a hipster joker. And then face paint. I mean, there's all sorts of kind of stuff you can do on here. It's pretty awesome. Then you get your calling card. Um, I like the Dapper Pickle. I mean, it's just, it's just some, oh, I'm actually level 17. Score. It's just something that's on there. Uh, I just chose it because I think it's funny. But you get these from, like, I completed the Pony Express and I got this card. Um, I unlocked by completing Who's Laughing Now, so I got this one. So that's how you get your calling cards. And then you have a symbol that kind of goes with it. I don't think, yeah, I don't have any other symbols. Um, then your catchphrase, just kind of, these ones are locked, but these are all different things that you can put on here. So I like, I'm new to this, fear me. Pretty awesome. Ah! Oh, and then we got gangs. Um, right now I am part of the hazmats. Um, uh, my reputation is one with that. Um, so, yeah, I'm not exactly sure exactly how gangs work, but you progress through different gangs and, uh, do stuff with it. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I just got into that gang, so I don't know how that works or anything. And then you have mascots, which I did not have any mascots, and the only way to get these is, um, well, unlocked at level 101, 501. Whoa! Uh, but yeah, these ones are purchased at the PlayStation Store, so you actually use money to buy these. But these are the little things, they like float over you, um, like behind your shoulder. It's actually kind of cool. I think I might get one. They're like 99 cents, but they're so cute. They're so adorable. Um, but yeah, maybe when I get to level 501, I will get this, and maybe 101 I'll get that, so. <laughs> um, and then there's promotions and stuff. But, yes, there's lots of stuff to go in here. I mean, the editing, or the kind of a customization you can put on here is pretty awesome. You also have the track record, which, um, oh yeah, I actually unlocked some stuff. Let's look at my gadgets. Um, glad, no, I haven't really used that. A grapple gun, let's see what, what kind of stuff. I... I haven't even grappled two kilometers yet. I'll get there though. Um, kill a grappling enemy. Haven't done that. Oh, yeah, I, need, I need to get on that. I need to get on that. Let's see, um, basic. Yeah, nemesis stuff. Uh, oh, let's, let's check out nemesis. Just cuz. Just cuz. Um, become the nemesis of two players in the same match. No. No, no, no. Oh, here we go. Play five rounds without being. becoming. Um, without anyone becoming your nemesis. Nah, that's actually, I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> that's the only one I have for that. Oh, lame. Um, get a five kill streak. Gommel. Get a ten, get a ten kill streak. Gommel, gommel, gommel. Get a twenty kill streak. I'm gonna get there eventually. <laughs> so, hmm, hmm, weapons. One thing that kind of... I don't think the hatchet is on here, and I'd really like to see how many kills I got with that because that'd be cool. I don't know if there's a way to way to check that out. Um, oh, I guess support items, which is unlocked at the next level. Oh, so I can't look at it. Gosh, gosh, I gotta I gotta get up my levels. <laughs> But, um, and then for play now, you have Team Deathmatch, Fumigation, Psych Warfare, your Challenges, and Initiation, which is just a little instructional video for you guys, uh, to, like, get into the game. And then Challenges, Challenge Yourself to Earn Medals and ex Extra Experience, uh, for Psych Warfare, you grab the battery and plug it into the, into, uh, plug it in to demoralize your enemies with propaganda. Fumigation is Capture the Gas Blaster, so only a sure attack, which is almost like domination, I suppose. And then standard team deathmatch and all out brawl between jokers and bats. So yeah, you just kind of have a kind of a normal thing here. But this video is going kind of long, but there's just so much to go over and I haven't even unlocked most of it. So please check out this game. Uh, this community really needs to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. It's one of those games that for $14.99 I would have paid $60. Uh, but yeah, this is Double O Face signing out saying good night and good fight. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe if you feel like it and enjoyed this video. And be sure to hit me up on PlayStation Network at I00Face, capital F, on the PlayStation Network if you'd like to play this for me. Alright guys, peace out.